What is up guys, it is good to be back on the road to 300 kilos. This is episode number 39. Today's session we got power snatch plus two hang snatch, some power clean and jerk doubles, some pause squats, and push press. Uh, sorry, I've been away for a little while. I've been super, super busy. I was in Austin, Texas for, for four days. I was in Cincinnati for a couple days. Man, I was traveling all over the place. It was kind of crazy, but uh, it was good to be. It's good to be back. That's for sure. I, I was able to train at a couple gyms while I was gone, just putting in some uh, some pretty easy sessions. Nothing crazy. I'm still uh, pre gaming my my program that I'm getting ready to start. Big news: we are starting the program next week. So maybe not next video, but the week the the, the video after episode 41. Maybe that will be the uh, the first episode of the new program, and I'm going to be running Clarence Kennedy's uh, strength based weightlifting program. So it's going to be focused on building my pulling strength and my uh, pushing strength, like my pressing strength and my squat strength, while still still doing ollie at the beginning. So like it'll entail a few sets of snatch and then like a, a, a couple sets of clean and jerk, like. And that's pretty much it. I'm never doing more than like three sets of either either movement and nothing. I wouldn't say it does get heavy. I mean, you're doing like heavy triples and heavy doubles and stuff eventually. But for the most part, it's mainly focused on, yeah, like still, fi still working on the Olympic lifts a little bit because you want to keep that muscle memory. But the main focus is going to be doing like six sets of five pause back squats or six sets of five. Uh, you know, clean deadlifts, six sets of, you know, push press, just a lot of, lot of volume and intensity because the intensity is pretty high even for the, uh, for the strength based movements. I mean, you're talking, you know, the first week I'm going to be paused back squatting like 135 for, for six sets of five, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is a lot, uh, for somebody who hasn't done a ton of weightlifting training here lately, uh, it's gonna be a lot. But that's why that's why I'm kind of pre-gaming the program a little bit because I wanted to I didn't want to throw my body immediately into the fire. Uh, so yeah, just working on these working on these snatches. I like the full snatches. I've always I've I've never really liked my power snatches. I don't know what it is, but but the way I pull myself under the bar just always looks kind of weird to me. It's not necessarily bad. Like my power snatch is pretty decent relative to my to my max, you know, my max full snatch, but I just land kind of weird. I don't know. It seems like my knees look super far forward, and that might be a product of just how long my femurs are. I'm not really sure, but I'm definitely I've definitely been landing a little bit for like catching the bar a little bit forward. Like yeah, I think you might have saw in that last snatch, it, it kind of. It, it wants to go forward when I catch it and I think that's a product of just not I'm kind of I'm so focused on staying uh, vertical in the pool and not reaching too far back that I think I'm almost not pulling enough and it's kind of cutting it short cutting my extension short and therefore it's a little bit forward but that's some stuff we can fine tune for sure so moving on to clean and jerks uh, clean and jerks have been feeling pretty good. I was able to do, I, I trained at a Gold's gym while I was away. And I think I worked up to like 120 kilos on the clean and jerk just with like a shitty bar and some shitty weights, crowded gym. I mean, I'm sure you guys know how some of those big Globo gyms can be. They can be super, you get a lot of weird looks. I mean, it's kind of fun to like, you know, do some weightlifting around people that don't really know what you're doing. You get a lot of weird looks and uh, stuff like that. It's just kind of funny, but yeah, I was just working on the clean and jerks. My my shoulder has been my left shoulder has been a little weird. So I th I think you might have saw at the beginning I was like trying to focus on uh, warming up the shoulders a little bit more than I usually do because usually I just go usually I just kind of stretch a little bit and start moving the bar around. I don't really do a whole lot to warm up, and I think I might. I'm trying to focus a little bit more on 
uh, prehab and rehab of the shoulder and then my left forearm as well. It's all my left arm. It's my left shoulder and my left forearm. It just kind of been bothering me, both of them. Just kind of, I don't know, it's hard to explain. The forearm has been a little bit of like tendonitis feeling and then the shoulder, the shoulder inside, inside of the shoulder, like the delt, inside the front of the delt kind of feels clunky. It's kind of hard to describe, but... It doesn't really feel bad doing like clean and jerks. It feels bad in like the turnover of the snatch. And I think that's a product of not, of kind of being a little loopy in the snatch sometimes. So it's a big thing I'm trying to focus on in, in the snatch too. And I think that's why I'm, like I said, I'm not fully extending is because I'm focusing on other things. And I think I'm cutting that extension a little bit short because I'm worried about, I'm worried about that shoulder and I'm trying to make it feel good. So. Anyway, moving straight on into the paused back squats. I really, really love paused back squats because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it develops my strength a lot, a lot better than like relying on the bounce. And the bounce is, sometimes the bounce is like a lot for me, like the tendons and the joints. And I kind of like just taking it a little bit slower, pausing, getting a, getting a good stretch and a good burn and then, and then exploding out of the bottom. I kind of like that. They're a little bit more fun. I mean, they suck, they're hard, but like, uh, I don't know, they're just a little bit more fun to me. And I think it transitions over to weightlifting pretty well and it transitions, I mean, if my pause squat gets strong, my regular squat's gonna get super strong. So I think they're super, super beneficial. And I'm gonna be doing them for a while for the first, I think four or five weeks of this of this program that I'm going to be running. It's a 10 week program, so I'm hoping to just like get my strength levels back up for the first 10 weeks, and then you know, and then the next program I can run like a actual uh, ollie program where I'm more focused on the snatch and clean and jerk, and maybe those numbers can go up. So we're slowly rebuilding. I'm sorry, it's been a little bit of a process. That's kind of a that's why I named the series Road to 300 Kilos. I should have named it Very, Very Long Road to 300 Kilos, but I think we'll get there. I think I'm hoping to get there within a year, year and a half, if I stay committed, because I'm not too far off. I've just got to put like 10 or 15 kilos on each lift, which I know is a lot, but I have a lot of room. I'm not maxed out yet on my strength. I know I'm nowhere near maxed out yet on my strength. I just got to get if I can just get that squat strength up and the pulling strength up, I think those Olympic lifts will skyrocket. So, just gotta make sure to eat a bunch, train hard, and recover well, right? The, uh, the house is moving along, we're getting ready to buy a house, and it's, it's gonna have a nice little detached garage. Uh, I'm gonna have a hot tub, so I'm really hoping to get like a, a a home gym set up, even just like a squat rack, you know, just a squat rack and some damn weights, that'd be great. And then, then I can just go, go in the, get in the hot tub after a hard training session and make sure what the body's feeling good. Uh, we're super excited. I think it's going to be super beneficial to just life in general and then especially, especially training. So. So yeah, this is 130. I did a few, I did like four or five sets at 130. Uh, like I said, so like the, set, the the first week of the program, I was supposed to be doing 135. So I was like, all right, let me just do 130 for like less sets, and you know, it's a little bit less weight. So uh, they feel pretty good. I mean, you could tell my body hasn't hasn't been like training like this a lot because stuff hurts. The joints definitely yell at me a little bit, especially afterwards. But like, I think I think after a few weeks of dedicated training to to uh, Olympic weightlifting, that that the joints will be like, all right, I get it. We're back. We're back in this. Back in this shit. Thanks a lot, dude. But I'm just gonna make it. Listen, I don't really give a shit. I have goals, and I want to reach those goals. If I have to have some aches and pains, then so be it. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm throwing a metal bar around on my body. It's gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna feel good all the time. That's for sure. So, moving over here to the jerk blocks. I like doing the, I like the jerk blocks for the push press, just so I can throw it down on that last rep. 
uh, I think I work up to like, I think I get up to like 80 kilos for, for a five by five. So it's a little bit lighter than, than what I'm supposed to be doing next week when I start the program. Uh, push press is feeling pretty strong. I mean, the big thing, the big thing right now that's the most awkward is uh, the re-rack. Like anytime I do multiple jerks or multiple push presses, my re-rack is a little wonky just because I haven't been doing it as much. And I've also noticed, so I trained like three or four, five days in a row with uh, Olympic weightlifting uh, pre-gaming this, this program. And I've noticed that my, like, my wrists were starting to hurt, my hands were starting to hurt just because they're a little, they're a little deconditioned from this. But here's the second to last set. And I mean, these are moving good. I like going straight from one to the other because I'm bending down or I'm, like, I'm kneeling down to uh, to catch it anyway. So I might as well go straight into the next one. And this set gets a little wonky. I think I was getting pretty tired. This is the last set. Yeah, that one sucked. It felt really weird. I couldn't re-rack it right. So I just went, I just dropped it, went straight into the other one. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I appreciate it if you've been here this long, and I'm looking forward to pushing out the content a little bit more consistently, all right? I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.